Hi, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, I just pulled the hanging tag off of this car here. This is uh, probably my, you know, in the world of muscle cars, everybody has their favorite. I would say that this would be my, uh, this would be my favorite. This is uh, a 71 Hemi Cuda, uh, shaker hood, date coated Hemi in it, and a spectacular restoration. As we walk around the car, you'll see uh, every nut, bolt, screw, detail has been done. And if we can get some pictures of the underneath of this car, uh, you'll see it is absolutely uh, as beautiful underneath as it is on the top. And I encourage you to spend more time hanging out underneath the car than maybe even driving it. So let's take a walk around and look at it. Uh, sassy grass green, uh, you know, the year before it was limelight. Sublime, depending on whether you're Plymouth or Dodge. This is a great, great color. 15 inch rally wheels with the radial TAs. Power disc brakes. This car happens to have four wheel disc brakes, believe it or not, uh, which is kind of an upgrade, as you I'm sure already know. Also has a Dana rear in it. And they went ahead and they kind of did everything all kind of the same as you would from the factory. Got the correct fog lights down there. Cheese grater grill. The gills on the 71 fenders, I think look awesome. Hood pins, quad headlights, and everything is painted, polished, and done very nicely. As a matter of fact, let's take a look underneath the hood and uh, see what all that rumble's about. This is an old style Hemi, which is kind of cool. Kind of keeping the, the car traditional with the right battery, uh, the big 954 radiator. Everything is detailed. Everything is painted. Like no expense was spared on this. This is a uh, this is a hundred and fifty thousand dollar restoration, is uh, is what the client has uh, told us that we got this car. So uh, we went ahead and it had the uh, it had just a regular sport hood. So we went ahead and finished the uh, conversion to a shaker, and I think that obviously sets it off to finish the whole car up. The interesting thing is, you know, like the, the Hemi uh, Challengers, you know, got the big uh, uh, Hemi emblem on the side of the shaker, which is a really nice piece, but they didn't get this. And when you, when you go to a car show, this is what you're getting, the call out on the side. And what's that say right there? That looks awesome. It's the billboard stripes, correct NOS louvers, and they also have the uh, correct hinges in them too. The Go Wing, you know, the Go Wings were uh, uh, a lot of times dealer installed. Very rare that people actually ordered them, but this car's kind of loaded up with all the things that you could get. Go Wing, spoilers, call outs, and this is how you would have ordered this car. This car really screams 1970 because we actually had carpet like this in my house. Same color. My parents used to make me rake it, you remember. Tail lights are all new, the tips come out correctly, and this car sounds badass. You know, we've never actually taken you into uh, where we do most of the mechanical and restoration work here at Fleming, so I thought I would take you over for a second. Uh, here's a list. This is who we call Diamond Dave. Uh, Dave is a world-renowned uh, engine detailer, and he is a spectacularly handsome. He uh, used to be a supermodel, decided that was not for him, and now he's decided to uh, just kind of lay low. Cliff over there, master mechanic. Say hi, Cliff. A couple of the other guys uh, aren't here today. That's, uh, it's a Saturday, so we're just doing a video. But I wanted to walk you underneath this CUDA for a second. Anytime you do a CUDA, um, you know, a lot of people do clones and they, and they shortcut. And shortcuts mean, you know, if you're doing a Hemi CUDA, things that are absolutely paramount, especially with a four-speed, are the Hemi four-speed transmission. This is the big Hemi four-speed 18 spline trans. We went ahead with the Dana, okay? Got to have the Dana with a four-speed. It came from the factory that way. We like to make sure it's that way. More leaf springs on one side than the other. Got torque boxes put in for the Hemi cars. The Hemi cars came with bigger torque boxes. All new floor pans. This exhaust here is just slightly nicer than the factory, obviously, but it does flow well and it is spectacular looking. All new fuel lines, brake lines, hoses. Everything's either powder coated, uh, replaced, plated. This is a no expense spared uh, rotisserie restoration. The only reason I'm kind of showing you this is because I, I, I got this car for myself and I love this thing, I just want to make sure everybody could see the, uh, when you're getting a car of quality, this is kind of what it looks like. All new suspension, big sway bar, power disc brakes. Just really, really nice. Anyway, let me lower it down off the lift and uh, we'll show you the rest of it. Interior is the correct pattern for uh, the 71 seats. This has the rally dash, seven grand tack, 150 mile an hour speedometer, original AM radio, full gauges. This right here is my favorite. This is the pistol grip shifter. Slide seat back. This right here, no other shifters ever come close to the feeling that this feels like in your hand, especially with uh, uh, this, this 
the Hemi is, is dynoed at around 600 horsepower is what we've been told um, before they put it in the car and it is built with the very best forged internal parts that you could get. Two four barrels, not a single four to kind of keep it authentic, but everything works from the reverse light to the carb fresh air. You know what we do for a lot of people is we put uh, AM FM CD sound systems in here and we hide them so it keeps everything stock inside. This is kind of nice. Original Barracuda that. Dome lights work. Day and night mirror. Just a nice car. Three spoke wheel. Tough wheel. Console. Excellent. You know, these cars uh, uh, not only are powerful, but the sound that they make is really why you buy them. The pistol grip in your hand. Let's have it here at this. You know, this is where the details, uh, the details of a great car start and stop. You know, not everybody knows to restore a Chrysler is significantly different than restoring, say, uh, a Chevrolet or a GM or a Ford because Chrysler painted everything and they probably cost them a lot more to do that. You know, they painted the underneath of the car, they painted the inside of the engine compartment, and they painted in here too. So I just want to show you some of the things that you get. You get a little touch-up paint with it. This car has had roughly uh, a thousand break-in miles put on it. Here's a nice poster of the car with all the details of the restoration. Last but not least, a little trophy comes with it. You know, you just can't buy this trophy anywhere. This is genuine plastic. It's the real deal. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about. Come with a little touch-up paint. This is the kind of car that like, like somebody just, uh, you'll see it. You can see $150,000 right away because to buy uh, a CUDA to begin with, just to restore now, is a 30 or 40 gram. Anyway, beautiful trunk mat, detailed jack, a real spare, inflator bottle. Right here is where all is where the big money goes. Right in here, all nicely done, nicely painted. You know, in closing, these cars are selling in the three, four, and five hundred thousand dollar range, especially in these colors, uh, with the Dana, the four speed, the Hemi done the way this car is done. If you were going to do a car, this is exactly how you'd want it done uh, because somebody uh, loved this car and it was uh, no expense spared. So anyway, they, uh, they traded this in and got two cars for it and we're selling this car for significantly less than its, uh, than its not only replacement value but uh, the years that it took to do it. So we're Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Call us at 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.